So our last big topic here today is going to be talking about slope as average rate of change. So this is to answer the question, uh, when am I ever going to use this? Um, whenever people talk about average rate of change, um, when they talk about things are changing at a certain rate, when they're like, you know, global warming, blah, 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 at this rate, the polar caps are going to be gone. At this rate, you know, we're never going to have any turnips. At this rate, we're going to have a hole in the ozone layer, all this kind of stuff. Um, when people talk about rates, they're talking about slope. So rates always equal slopes for the most part, whenever we're talking about it. Um, when people are talking about rates, they're talking about slope. Um, so whenever someone says something like, um, well, let's take a look at this example. I like this one example. Um, let's talk about a growth chart. You know, I see these for kids. Um, so we're going to make one up because I've only got some of the data and I didn't write the rest of it down and I'm lazy. So we got a little growth chart. So we'll go over here and say age in years and height in um, inches. All right. So let's say whenever a kid is like born, they're like, I don't know, let's go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So like when a kid is born, it's like what? It's, it's like, I don't know, 22 inches. I don't know. We're always talking about babies like they're fish, you know. It's eight pounds, 22 inches. No, it's kind of weird. Anyway, um, so when they're like, I don't know, two, how tall are kids? I don't know, like four feet, three feet? I have one. I just never pay attention how big he is. We'll say he's 40 inches tall. Maybe I have a giant baby. Maybe my tiny baby. I don't know. Um, we'll go along and say, okay, well, I don't know. When he's um, 13, maybe he's going to be about 57 inches. One, two, three, four, five. So he's going to be about 57 inches. Ah. And um, say by the time he gets to be 18, he's uh, 70, I don't know, 76 inches. Is that super tall? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll go 72 inches. Is that six feet? Slightly less, slightly more? I don't know. What's six feet times 12? Is, yeah, 72 inches. So I'm say he's going to be six feet tall. Some of us stop here or slightly taller but not too much anyway so you got some kind of growth spurt so you know, like kids grow like really really fast and they kind of slow down and they go really really fast and then they're like you know I don't know how do they do it kind of fast slow down and then like that I don't know kids have the weirdest growth rates anyway so I'm gonna talk about this so we might say um well how much let's see how much do kids grow a year on average from 13 to 18? So how much do kids grow a year on average from 13 to 18? So if you're thinking about this, well, how much did he grow? Um, this little kid, he grew, let's see, he was 72 minus 57. So he grew 15 inches in how many years? In five years? Did I do that right? doesn't look right. I guess it's right. So if he grows 15 inches in five years, that means he grows about how many inches a year? Probably saying about three inches a year. All right. Believe it or not, this is a slope. <laughs> it's also a rate. Um, I like that a second. Um, so three inches a year. So the rate, the growth rate, you might say, the growth rate from 13 to 18 is three inches a year, right? The growth rate from 13 to 18 is three inches a year. And like I alluded to, this is all, this is actually a slope. So what we want you to do is start thinking about where these come from. So the idea is, you know, he might grow really, really fast or really, really slow for a while. But on average, he kind of follows this line going from here to here. So what we've actually done is found the slope of the line from 13 to 18. 
So what we can do is we can say that the rate of change, rate of change, ROC, rate of change, is actually the slope. It's actually y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Isn't that kind of neat? Um, if you're curious, this line is called the tan, not the tangent line. This line is called the secant line. If you get into calculus, um, you'll be talking about that a lot. Um, but the rate of change is actually just a slope. And you did it, and it made perfect sense before you know you put any math to it. You can do it instinctually, I think. Um, but if you go here and you look, and you, if you formally do it, you know your x1, y1, and x2, y2, you'll get something that looks like, you know, I got y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So that gives me my 15 over 3. Can I not divide? Yes, I cannot divide. 15 inches 18 over 13. That's what I did wrong. Thank you. Got to freak out. 18 over 13. So 15 over 5 is 3. Right? So the slope, the rate of change, is a rate, a growth rate. Okay? See any connection? We actually do similar kinds of stuff. Um, well, let me... Let me take you back for a sec, because I do want to mention something. Whenever people talk about rates of change, you've got to be really careful, because it depends on the data that they're looking at. So, for example, if I wanted to be stupid and annoying and try to prove some kind of a point, if I was trying to make the argument that this kid was going to be, you know, 90 feet tall by the time he was 18, I could do it very easily, because I could say, well, if I compare the growth rate from here to here, and I draw my growth rate, well, look at my growth rate. It's just going right through the, you know, through the curves. By the time he's 18, he's going to be like 900,000 feet tall, right? And that's obviously completely ridiculous. So um, whenever people talk about growth rates, you've got to be careful. When they talk about any kind of a rate, you've got to be careful because you've got to understand where their data is, where they're getting their data from. You know, say, well, what are you, what kind of a range are you looking at? Because you can see here, 18 to 13, you know, kind of done a decent job of, you know, estimating how that goes along, but, you know, you could obviously see that depending on which one you pick, you know, you could be just going nuts. So, um, just, you know, use your brain whenever people talk to you about math and don't just assume that they know what they're talking about because they're using, you know, words like rate of change. Here's another example that might help pull it together and, uh, and make it all perfect for you. Um, think about, um, say you're driving. And um, this is your hours driving. Um, say one, two, three. You know, you start off not going anywhere. And say after, say after three hours you've gone, not very far, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's say after three hours, you've gone 90 minutes. After three hours, not 90 minutes, you've got 90 miles. And um, say after three hours, you went 90 miles. So if I asked you, how fast did you drive? What would you say? If it took you three hours to go 90 miles, how fast did you drive? You might say, well, I went 30 miles an hour. Because you'd say, I've got 90 miles in three hours, so I went 30 miles an hour. So you do this kind of math all the time, right, when you think about it. Does that mean you did exactly 30 miles an hour? Well, no, probably not. You probably, you know, maybe you start off really, really fast and you got spooked and you kind of slowed down. Maybe you make pit stop and then you start to speed up again and then you slowed down and then you speed up again and slow down. But it doesn't matter because on average, on average, you went 30 miles per hour. This is your average rate of change, right? This is your average rate of change. You went from zero, zero, zero hours and zero miles to three hours and 90 miles. So you can do the same thing, x1, y1, x2, y2. And you can get 
you can get a slope. Y2, Y1, X2, Y2, or X2, X, blah, X2, X1. And um, you'll find that this is exactly what you kind of thought it was going to be. Um, 3 minus 0. So that gets you your 90 over 3, or 30 miles per hour. You see that? Okay, so, I mean, that doesn't mean much. I mean, you can go in here and say, oh, at the, you know, you know, right over here, I was, you know, I was going a certain rate, or right over here, I was going a certain rate, or right over here, I was going a certain rate, or I can travel to a certain distance. But your rate of change, your slope, um, the average amount of time that you've spent on the road versus how far you've gotten, um, that's all that is is a slope. So the thing I want you to pull away from this is whenever people talk about rates of change, what they're really talking about is, is slope.